Hello everyone. Welcome to the uh, last session on the classification of phylum Mollusca. Here we are going to deal with class bivalvia. Uh, class bivalvia, it is otherwise known as uh, Pelecipoda or Lamellibranchiata. Bivalvia because the shell of the animal, uh, the mollusk, it is formed of two valves, the shell valves. Okay, and uh, uh, it is unique in the case of the bivalves. So that is why it is uh, referred as bivalvia. Uh, the bivalvia, they are uh, the second largest uh, group of mollusk. And uh, we can see that uh, it includes clams, oysters, mussels and scallops. And many of them are edible and some of them are also the production of pearls. You can see that there are uh, it includes freshwater species and uh, some marine uh, mostly marine forms a majority of the bivalves they are sedentary in habit or slow moving and generally suspension feeders um, if you just analyze the uh, uh, the features of bivalve yeah, we can call uh, define it as bivalves being a group of bilaterally symmetrical laterally compass, compressed mollusks with paired uh, mantle lobes, right and left mantle lobes, and a bivalved calcareous shell. Right. Uh, looking into in detail, we can see already mentioned laterally compressed body, which is enclosed within a pair of shell valves, a pair of shell valves, and that is how the name comes, bivalves. Right. As already mentioned, they are relatively sedentary or e um, even sessile in nature. And uh, in the case, uh, uh, the head is indistinct and a radula is completely absent in them. Uh, the foot, it is blade-like in burrowing species and reduced in attached forms. Uh, usually in the bivalves, foot is wedge-shaped um, or we can say usually plow-shaped and they are ventral in position, large and muscular. And uh, in sedentary forms, the glands in the foot, it secrete the byssus threads which are used for attaching the bivalve to substrates. Okay, byssus threads, I suppose we can see over here, right? These are the byssus threads, right? And these are secreted by the uh, glands present on the foot, right? Uh, most bivalves are sedentary in nature. Sedentary in the sense, uh, either they are buried or they are usually lying on a substrate. But they are capable of limited movement. Uh, some are sessile, that is entirely incapable of locomotion. Sedentary uh, mollusks, they are capable, but they usually choose themselves to be uh, like um, uh, lying on the substrate or uh, remaining buried on the substrate. Right. In the case of sessile mollusks like oysters, they usually are cemented to hard surfaces by one of the shell valves. Uh, cemented in the sense they are all usually found attached to uh, some hard surfaces with one of the shell valves. Young stages of the bivalves, they are motile in nature and it is an important uh, agent of dispersal or it is an advantage for being uh, dispersing in themselves to newer uh, feeding grounds. In the case of burrowing bivalves, so we have seen in the case of sedentary how it is, in the case of uh, what you call sessile how it is being. In the case of burrowing bivalves, the foot, it penetrates the sand, uh, swells at the tip and takes hold onto the uh, deeper soil layers and then the longitudinal muscles of the foot contract. So what happens is the siphons become elongated and reach up to the sand surface so it is actually helps helping it to stick into the uh, burrow okay so that is how they uh, it helps in burrowing as well the food do have the ability now the mantle if you look into the mantle it consists of a pair of symmetrical right and left lobes and this join uh, the visceral mass dorsally okay if you look into the uh, structure uh, this is the dorsal side okay and this is the ventral side and this is the anterior and the posterior region the anterior region and the dorsal region is the one which act where actually the uh, the shell it remains uh, hinged okay joined together in between the mantle lobe and the visceral mass is the mantle cavity which uh, uh, like houses the tenaria or the gills now coming to the uh, other parts uh, 
as already mentioned there are abyssus glands and abyssus threads which are produced by the glands associated with the food apart from that the uh, alimentary canal it is much coiled with crystalline uh, style uh, and a style sac okay crystalline sa- style in the intestine as already mentioned they don't have any uh, radula in the buccal cavity uh, a style sac it contains a crystalline style which is a rod made of compacted mucus which contains uh, uh, amylase that is a carbohydrate uh, carbohydrate digesting enzyme and cellulase enzymes so as the style rotates by ciliary action against a chitinous gastric shield the tip of the uh, the style the crystalline style it continu- it is gets continuously worn away with the release of a small quantity of the enzyme okay so the rotation also mixes the contents the food contents and uh, pulls in more mucus strings of food so this is how it works right the the crystalline style or the style sac okay in the style sac it is which is present in the intestine it helps in enzymatic breakdown of the food which is being fed upon most of the bivalve bivalves they are suspension feeders and uh, regarding the uh, what you call the circulatory system it is open type with a trilocular heart that is three chambered heart uh, having two auricles and a single ventricle now bivalves it is otherwise known as lamellae branchiata the name has come because of the highly uh, what you call uh, uh, well developed and uh, very extensive um, this uh, uh, tinidia okay uh, the respiratory organs it is represented by a pair of lamellae form gills or lamellae form tinidia lamellae form in the sense it is plate like it is very expanded which is it is il- highly elaborate and that is why the name has come lamellae branchiata right now nervous system it is well developed uh, ostradia and stratocyst are the chief sense organs in the case of bivalves uh, the sexes are separate in most of the cases uh, and uh, fertilization external development being indirect with a glochidium larva okay it is a glochidium larva which is actually the highly motile larval form of the um bivalves uh, here you can see the structure of a typical uh, bivalve that, that is a perna the when you look into the structure of perna perna uh, it is commonly known as a sea mussel it is an edible sedentary marine mollusk it lives in large numbers in the intertidal zone of coastal waters usually remaining attached to rocks so it is a uh, sessile uh, mollusk usually remaining attached to hard surfaces like rocks stones or other such hard objects in the intertidal area um we we, we can also f- find uh, certain patches like large population of these perna uh, growing on or inhabiting vast areas of rocky shores and such kind of areas they are known as mussel beds right and there are two main species of uh, perna in uh, in india which is usually farmed also uh, they are uh, perna yeah viridis and perna indica okay it is a green mussel and the brown mussel you know why it is uh, different the name it's the color the, the the coloration itself says the name isn't it there is a green colored the green mussel and the brown color the brown mussel okay now so uh, that is about the two different species of the uh perna which is very common in the in uh, india okay the green mussel or the uh, perna viridis it is green in color externally mantle margin is yellowish green the uh, you can see it is very specifically having a pointed beak down uh, turned anterior end of the shell this is what is referring over here okay it is very unique in the case of perna viridis right and uh, uh, per, uh, two small teeth on the left valve and uh, one on the right valve actually the presence of teeth it uh, uh, helps in keeping the uh, the, the two uh, what you call the valves of the shell together okay uh, the green mussel it is uh, it enjoys wide distribution in the eastern and western coasts of india uh, in uh, kerala it is common in the coastal sea from kollam to kasar god while the brown mussel it is restricted uh, in distribution from varkala to kanyakumari so that is how it is being the, the distribution is now regarding the other features of perna 
the uh, body is soft and divisible into foot and uh, visceral mass as already mentioned uh, uh, head is very indistinct it is uh, a distinct head is uh, absent the whole body it is enclosed with a bivalve shell which is calcareous in nature and the two shell valves they are equal and it is similar